classic daiquiri is beautiful in its simplicity, a basic sour template of rum, lime, and sugar. Three simple ingredients, infinite ways to mess it up. So in this cocktail shakedown, we're gonna compare the classic daiquiri with the legendary Hemingway daiquiri, and I'll throw in a wild card at the end. For the classic daiquiri, grab a shaker and add three-fourths of an ounce or 22 mils of fresh lime juice. We're then gonna balance that with simple syrup, three-fourths of an ounce or 22 mils, and this is a one-to-one -one sugar to water ratio for the syrup. Now for the rum, I prefer a white rum that's been lightly aged, like this Florida Cana or Cana Brava is also a good one, two ounces or 60 mils. Next, grab some ice, and we're going to shake that for about 15 seconds to chill, dilute, and add a little bit of aeration to the drink. Pop that open, and then we're going to double strain that into a nicely chilled coupe glass that I've kept in the freezer. Look at that beautiful color. Gonna keep this in the fridge for now, but couldn't help but get my nose in there. Mmm, can't wait. All right, so what is this Hemingway daiquiri? I'll get into the history in a bit, but it distinguishes itself by the use of some grapefruit juice, as well as this maraschino liqueur. This is a really nice liqueur that doesn't actually taste that much like maraschino cherries, but a little nutty and funky. This is gonna to contribute to some of the sweetness of the final cocktail. Now there are a variety of different specs for this drink, but this is the one I found works the best, starting with one half ounce or 15 mils of fresh grapefruit juice. But the drink is designed to be a bit more sour than sweet, so we need a little more acidity. Three fourths of an ounce or 22 mils of fresh lime juice. And you don't want too much of this liqueur because it can really overpower the drink. So I do one fourth of an ounce or about seven mils. And then a bit of simple one half ounce or 15 mils. And finally our white rum, Supposedly Hemingway like double rum, but uh, modern versions of this drink are only two ounces or 60 mils. And again, we're gonna shake with ice for about 15 seconds. So while Hemingway was living in Havana, Cuba in the 1930s, supposedly he would often visit a famous bar called El Floridita. Famous for their daiquiris, he tried it and said, that's good, but I prefer it without sugar and double rum. But the recipe was then tweaked to add grapefruit juice and maraschino liqueur. So again, the modern version of this drink is a bit more on the sour side instead of sweet but it should still be fairly balanced. Again, we're going to double strain into a chilled coupe glass and garnish with a lime wheel here. It's killing me to put this aside for now, but let's talk about the wild card daiquiri. And that comes to us from the wonderful book Cocktail Codex from the folks over at the Death & Co bar. This drink has a touch of funk and is a bit more on the sour side. So this is gonna be one ounce or 30 mils of fresh lime juice, then three fourths of an ounce or 22 mils of simple syrup. Then 1.75 ounces of our white rum, which is about 52, 53 mils. And the secret ingredient here is just a touch of this rum agricole, which is a funky rum from Martinique. Here I'm using La Favorite brand, which is one of my favorites. And we're not going too heavy with this to overpower the drink, just a fourth of an ounce or about seven mils. Again, shake with ice for about 15 seconds, double strain into a chilled coupe, and this time we're gonna garnish with a lime wedge to distinguish it from the others. All right, cut to new torso shot. We're gonna try these in the same order we made them, starting with the classic daiquiri. I'll provide my reaction and tasting notes like I haven't had a million of these before, but here it is, cheers. I mean, to me, this is the perfect sour cocktail. I describe it as clean, balanced, Nothing overpowers the drink, and you can really taste the flavor nuances of the rum. So the Flor de Caña really shines here. I mean, this is a classic for a reason. But I mean, that Hemingway daiquiri is just glowing for us right here. Let's compare. Is it better than the classic? I mean, it's a fantastic drink. It's pretty well balanced, definitely a bit on the drier side. The maraschino comes through, a little bit of funk, but not too overpowering. Whether it's the liqueur or the grapefruit, something brings out some more vegetal flavors in that rum. I'm not sure what it is, but it's really nice. It's an interesting change of pace, but I gotta go with the classic if I were to pick between the two of these. But what about the wild card? The cocktail codex version with a hint of our rum agricole? Wow. Okay, for such a subtle change in recipe, a little more lime juice, a little bit of rum agricole, it's a wildly different drink. That extra lime really brightens up the drink and the rum agricole just gives it some nice character. I don't know guys, I think this might be my go-to daiquiri spec from now on. But if you wanna see more of these videos, I'll put a link to the equal parts cocktail shakedown on screen. But what else do you wanna see? Leave me a comment below.